Hello guys, we got a hands today on the Zotac GTX 560Ti, the AMP edition. Uh, it also bundles along with it a free game coupon, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So let's quickly unbox it and review it today. Let's open this up. The box contains, you get a driver CD. This is the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood coupon that I was talking about. Um, instruction manual. And finally, This is the Zotax GTX 560 Ti. We are really fascinated by the design. This yellow grill, open design, which fills up the gap between the metal chassis. Not just looks interesting, not just looks aesthetically pleasing, but it also helps in keeping the card cool, I guess. It has the standard two DVI ports and one HDMI port. That is also there on the reference NVIDIA GTX 560 Ti. It has two 6-pin power connectors. So let's just fix it in the motherboard and run some benchmarks. Now that we've installed the card, it's running silently, it's running cool. Here's the interesting bit. The GPU clock shows 950 MHz. Now the reference card that we got, the NVIDIA GTX 560Ti, has a base clock of 822 MHz. So that is a whopping 130 MHz of upgrade on the base clock. So does that really improve the performance? We'll just find out after running a couple of benchmarks. We'll start with the crisis benchmark. Running at three other resolutions. We are back after running the benchmarks for the Zotac GTX 560 Ti card. These are the graphs obtained from the cards and in these graphs the blue bar is rep represents the Zotac GTX 560 Ti and the red bar represents the reference NVIDIA GTX 560 Ti. Now let's get individual into each of these scores to give you a better idea. This is 3D Mark Vantage Company of Heroes Tales of Valor running from resolutions of 1618 to 1050 to 1920 to 1080. This is Crisis Warhead is Far Cry 2. Uh, as is seen across all the benchmarks, the Zotac GTX 560Ti beats the reference card hollow in terms of scores. But this was expected in a way because the Zotac GTX is clocked at uh, 950 MHz as opposed to the base clock of 822 MHz on the NVIDIA reference card. The interesting bit is when we compared it with the higher end GTX 560s and GTX 580. So what you're seeing here right now is the comparison of Zotac card with five other cards. Now this also includes two GTX 570s and two GTX 580s which are comparably higher end cards. You notice that uh, the scores of the Zotac card was very similar to that of GTX 570 in Far Cry 2. As you can see the blue bar here is very close to the light blue and purple bar. Similarly in, Christ, in uh, Resident Evil 5, we noticed surprisingly that the Zotac card performed better than the GTX 570. Now, in other benchmarks, the performance was slightly lower than the higher end cards, but uh, the thing to note here is that the Zotac card is priced at Rs. 17,500, whereas the GTX 570 is priced somewhere between 27,000 and 30,000. And the GTX 580 is priced somewhere between 35,000 and 42,000. So if you see the price to performance ratio, the Zotac card comes out as a winner because you're getting a very good performance from the Zotac card at a price which is very economical when compared with the higher end GTX 580s and GTX 570s. So we feel that the Zotac GTX 560Ti is a great value for money buy for the kind of scores that you're getting. That's it for RN.